My name is Steve Janish, and I work here at uh, Gourmet Alley. I'm the uh, Scampi and Calamari head chef. And what are you cooking today? Well, we're cooking the calamari down on this end and the scampi down at that end, so that's the squid and the, uh, the shrimp down there. How many people do you think you're going to cater for? Oh, God. We're, well, we're hoping there's between 90 and 100,000 here this year. Is that up on last year so far? Uh, it's, it's probably about the same. You know, I mean, final numbers won't come in for a week or two after, but uh, we're hoping to get that, that many. The weather's going to be beautiful, so that always brings the crowds out. So there's a lot of preparation of food. How long does it take to prepare the food? Well, it's an ongoing process for, for probably, you know, good four or five, as many as six months prior to the festival. Wow. Yeah, it, it, there, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's, it's, uh, pretty big undertaking, as you can see. Well, you just got to, you know, when you're cooking down here with the flames, you got to just, everybody's got to be aware when they're going to flame up and let people know when they're flaming up around them. And, and uh, you know, you don't want to get a splash of oil and such. You, you got to watch for that. Got to keep the oil in the pan. What about clothing? Do you have to wear special clothing? Well, we have to, you know, you got to wear hats and such and, you know, long pants, no open-toed shoes or anything. But, no, other than that, you know, we wear T-shirts and, you know, I wear my pajamas, as the guys always tell me. How many years you been doing it now? Well, like I said, 30 to 32 years. That's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. It's a lot of fun, though. I enjoy it. So, what else do you cook here in the Flame Up? Again, just the, just the calamari here and the scampi down at the other end. That's all. That's all I take care of down here. Okay. I mean, throughout Gourmet Alley, you've got the pepper steak sandwiches, the garlic bread, the stir fry behind us, mushrooms. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it, it's just. I mean, it's just a wonderful, you know, food. You know, court. Uh, you know, and everything is good here. Everything is good. How high do the flames get? Oh wow, I wouldn't be surprised there. It's it's probably. You know, probably tops out at uh, 120, 130 degrees in there if you're in there long enough. My goodness. Well, I'm not going to keep you because I know you're very busy, but I appreciate you talking to me. Great. Great to see you again. Thanks so much. Just preparing for the calamari. Here comes the flame up. Woo! Woo! My name is Dave Bruni, B-R-U-N-I. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, this is 10 years. And what are you doing right now? Talk me through it. Well, I'm making the butter for the garlic bread, which we use about four of those pots of garlic. Four of these. Okay. okay. Uh, some dry uh, herbs, uh, a little bit of wine, about 75 pounds of butter, about 25 pounds of margarine, and let it cook and melt and we're ready to go. 14,000 about I think that you um, sold of the garlic bread is that about right? 14,000 like last year yeah. in one day? Yeah. Possible. <laughs> We'd like to think more but we don't know. They sh they'll show us tomorrow what we did today. How many people on your crew? Are you, do you stir all day? All day. Into you never the night. Everybody yeah everybody's got their own job. I do butter. There's uh, scampi, there's calamari sauce. We're pretty, everybody does their own thing. It works better that way. I've got to read some of your badges here. It says, Please. would you like it shaken or stirred? Well, would you? Um, <laughs> I'll go James Bond, I think. That's right. Get it yourself. That's it. That's not nice. No, that, well, it depends on the, on the day and the heat and, and, and who's asking. And, uh,